to a lovely, industrious, and upright couple, Alberto Javier Sr. and Esperanza Solis Javier in Colasia Tito. She was named Lolita, a second daughter to her robust elder brother. Lolita obtained her elementary education at Kulasi Elementary School and her secondary education at Antique High School in San Jose, Antique. Since Antique at that time, in the 1940s, did not have facilities for college curriculum, it was a privilege enjoyed only by a few, and Lolita is lucky enough to be one of those with opportunities for professional upliftment. She took her teacher certificate and graduated at the National Teachers College in Manila. Then Pearl Harbor was bombed in December 1942. The last transportation to leave Manila for Iloilo was a passenger ship named SS Corridor in which Lolita's parents entrusted her to the care of Antique Governor Calixto Zaldivar Sr. to ensure her safe passage from Manila to Colasi. By a stroke of divine intervention, Lolita was prevailed upon her fiancé, Bachelor of Law graduate, and a new member of the Philippine Bar named Josue El Cajau, who is a member of a politically feuding family in Colasi Antique, which at the time was a strong political adversary to the Cajau Javier rivalry. So, when SS Corrida was torpedoed and sunken by the Japanese naval boat, out of Manila Bay, Lolita was feared of her life, and her guardian governor, Calixto Zaldivar Sr., was able to swim to safety, surviving the Holocaust of the sinking SS Corrida. Lolita and Josue got married during the war. Their eldest daughter, Linda, was born in the year 1942, Followed by the late Cynthia Esperanza in the year 1944 and Maria Delicia, also born in the year 1946. Maria Cynthia was born in the year 1948. Maria Lolita in the year 1951. Maria Eva in the year 1954. Rodora in the year 1955. And then and Maria Julita in the year 1960. She had been an English teacher in Northern Antique High School, now Northern Antique Vocational School in 1945 to 1950. In the year 1948, Attorney Josue Cajal emerged as a rising political figure in the province of Antique. He ran for board member and won as a representative of Merton Antique to the provincial board. In the year 1954, he served as Antique governor for eight years, appointed public service commissioner under the administration of the late President Ferdinand Marcos. All through these political ups and downs, her supportive wife, Lolita, became his great strength and power. Then, in the late 1960s, she ran for vice governor of Antique and got elected with a favorable mandate for Antique voters. One of the latest strongest supremacies during office was her ardent support for human rights and civil liberty. When the infamous Baco massacre in Colasi Antique marred the peaceful landscape of Colasi's barangays, Lolita played a major part in giving justice and manipulated her support for the 
cost of the victims of Bako massacre by monetary benefits and privileges in the later years. In spite of our physical limitations, Mrs. Lolita Tajao never stopped her services to the people of Antique, doing whatever she can in her capacity to show her love to the province of her birth. The years promptly took their toll, but for Mrs. Lolita Tajao, disability is never a hindrance to her fullest and dearest wish of giving financial help, her advices, and her miles of encouragement to parents who seek help. Her, help. her legacy lives in the heart of her family. For her children, to know that her services are given to the poor of Antique through their family's effort, it's because their beloved Nanai made them know that how beautiful it is to feel that she has been a part of the struggles of the Antikenius who could not fight back, who could not defend themselves. And with this thought, her life is lived fully and not in vain. Their gratitude is ever flowing and their hearts are Mrs. Lolita Kajau is now at peace and at, the, and at rest in the bosom of God's kingdom. The Lord has shown his loving mercy.